So how can you import photo from a Mac to iPad with USB? Let's get started. So if you are new on this channel, most definitely subscribe to it and you're not going to miss anything important. So on your Mac, you just need to use and like locate the file, connect your USB of whichever sort you have. It might be a USB-C, it might be an external storage device like SSD drive or even SD card the process is going to be exactly the same. So you at first need to connect it to your Mac and copy and paste the photo into that location. You will need to then safely eject that USB or whatever drive you are using and then connect it to your iPad. And this is most likely the issue for a lot of people because the iPad may not have the exact same port or the same way you connect the devices or USBs to Mac, right? So th this might look a little bit different. So for the iPad, you might need to use some sort of adapter. You know, for example, I have an SD card reader, which I can snap my SD card into it or a USB-C or something else. The point is that you need to figure out your connection. Your iPad might even have the lightning board. So you might need another set of cables for that specifically. But once you figure out the connection, connect it to your iPad, you then need to open up the Files app, which is like this folder icon on your iPad. And in the Location section on the left, a new thing should pop up. So it's going to be the name of your USB or the SD card or whatever device you are connecting. It should appear right there and you'll be able to tap on it and see and view all of the files in there. So to copy or import the photos there, you can hold down on it, copy or move to your local storage on the iPad. Or another interesting approach is by opening up the Photos app directly. And if there is some sort of external device recognized, you will also see it in the Photos app where you have the ability to import all of the photos directly to your Photos app. So it's up to you to decide which approach you are going to go with. But these are the two main options. Again, it's either bringing it over through the Files app or through the Photos app. But at first, we need to figure out the connection. But that's going to be about it for me. Let me know what you think. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you later in the next tutorials.